Hey gang, Crystal's here with Better at BI, and today is Friday, which means this is another episode of PBIF. Unfortunately, today we're not going to talk about a quick or a cool Power BI function or tip or trick. I want to talk about this thing that you're seeing on my screen now, the National Bureau of Economic Research, nber.org. They've calculated a zip code distance database. What you can do with this data is determine the distance between two zip codes in the United States. It's not perfect. Let's let's be honest. As you can see down here, they are using something called the Great Circle Distance calculated um, Great Circle Distance using the Haversine formula, uh, and based on internal points in the geographic area. So again, full disclosure. This is not going to be perfect because our zip codes are not symmetrical. Uh, if you click on these links, it can give you uh, some more information on how these things are calculated. But if you need to know how many people are within a particular radius, radius, radius of a particular zip code, you can really use this data. Let me scroll down for a second. So you've got the Latin longitudes right here. That's what this centroids thing is. And the census zip code distance data, they have it for 1990, 2000, 2010, 2015, and 2016. Now you can see here they have multiple files. So this one is for a 25 mile gap, right? And then a 50 mile gap, 100, 500, and an, an infinite gap, right? Um, and there are different data types. DTA, SAS, CSV, and DSC. So here, let me show you what these things look at, look like. This is a centroid um, file that I've downloaded. It's the uh, latitude and longitude, and then the zip code. Now we know our zip codes are five digits, so Excel trimmed out the, f the leading zeros, so you're gonna need to add that back in. Otherwise, you're gonna get spots literally in Africa and in the Middle East, so you're gonna have to make some changes there. Um, and but but it is every zip code by latitude right and longitude which is really cool the next thing here is the distance file let me make this a little larger oops sorry that's actually not the distance file that is actually the um, latitude and longitude here's a distance file so zip one is your source and zip two is your destination zip and this is the miles to zip two this is the gap between the two now again it's pretty odd right you can see um, these, uh, you know, these, they're really, really precise. And again, they're using some automated calculations that are doing the thing. It's intended to be a decent little representation. It's not going to be perfect, right? It's zip code to zip code, but it's, it is pretty cool. So you can have this, what this is going to allow you to do is, for example, determine how many consumers are within a particular zip code or a, a radius of a particular zip code. And now that video is coming. I built something pretty cool. Um, uh, and I'm going to be posting that hopefully in the next day or two. But again, this is Christos uh, with Better at BI. And this is a, uh, today's tip is zip code distance database, which is located at nber.org. If you like this video or other videos like this, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe and comment down below. I'd love to get some feedback and I'd love to hear some ideas for next videos. Okay. Thanks everyone.